So, looking at this right here, and this is all from my hair paint collection. This is just direct dyes that we have from my hair paint collection that we all mix together. Even in beauty school, <coughs> even in beauty school, they would tell us all the time, you can take red, yellow, and blue and make any color in the universe. Am I correct? We never believed them. We'd we'll, we'll rather run to the store and pick up a tube of pink and squeeze it on the client's head versus making 15 or 20 different shades of pink or different shades of greens or blues or purples or different things like that. All we used was our four hair paints, red, yellow, blue, and white, created all these different colors. Even that blonde in front right there. She had three ponytails. Imagine one, two, three ponytails. We took our lightener right here. If you haven't heard of our P-Levels lightening system, all right, let's put it right here. We took our P-Levels. We took our 40 volume. How many of y'all understand that developers are based on time, not strength? Developers are based on time, not strength. When you see a 100 volume, when you're in a European country, it doesn't mean that the 100 volume is stronger than the 10 volume. It gives you more time. So when you see volumes, say 100 minutes, 40 minutes, 20 volume, 20 minutes, 10 volume, 10 minutes. Volumes are based on time. Color is based on time, which means that if you're too slow and doing any kind of color, you're going to run out of what? Time. You can't mix your color bowl up and then decide to go get your, um, your, your foils and start pulling your foils out and get them to be the right size. Your foil should be laid out. Your comb should be laid out. Everything should be laid out properly before you even mix any kind of color. So she had two, well, one, two, three ponytails. And between each ponytail, we had a zigzag parting separating everything. So each section was a zigzag parting, which gives you a nice blending effect. On the first section, we put our 40 volume on here. And this is a violet based lightener. We put the 40 volume on, that entire section, we let it sit on. We waited 10 minutes. I'm sorry, she had four sections. Sorry, four sections. So four ponytails. After 10 minutes, we waited. Then we put it on section two. After that, we waited 10 minutes. We put it on section three. After 10 minutes, we put it on section four. Which section got the lightest? So if I did 10, 10, 10, 10, that's 40 minutes, correct? The first section got the what? got the lightest. The last section only stayed on for 10 minutes. That same 40 volume gave us 40 volume results, it gave us 30 volume results, it gave us 20 volume results, and it gave us 10 volume results. This is why we don't need a whole bunch of five volumes, 10 volumes, 20 volumes, 40 volumes in our color room. We have to understand that developers are based on time. Developers open the cuticle up, that's his only job. Then whatever you mix with it, whether it's color or lightener, it goes in and does its job. Does that make sense? After 40 minutes, eventually the developer and lightener starts to run out of time. You start to see it swell in the bowl. Anytime you see it swell, that means time is what? Running out. After that, we came on and put on different shades of color with our hair paint. And that's using our white, yellow, red and blue, and these are just direct dyes. And when I say white hair paint, it's just as white as that board right there. And you can make over 130 different shades if you like. All right, so just mixing up our hair paint and just putting it on each particular section. But I wanted to put it on going from light to a very, very rich red violet throughout the back. All right, and if you can see this nice, beautiful grayish type tone here, it looks like a pearl type color here, all right? That's basically just our blue, our blue with about 90% white. You can make any color, even toners, if you like. But sometimes we, just want, we don't want to take the time to actually go in there and do it. But if you take time and you charge it for your time, you can do anything you like. All right, but you walk to the front. All right, model number two, please. Hope y'all like that. And of course, for her cut, we just use basically convex lines throughout. We kind of come in on the sides and did a converged cutting technique here. We left it shorter in the center and longer towards the sides and then bringing everything in the front to the center, everything from the back to the center to create that convex short mohawk. 
Very, very simple cut, doing converged layers in the center. Very, very easy. The entire haircut will take you anywhere between 8 to 10, 12 minutes, just like that. All right? Thank you.